Hi guys, Steve Blankard here, back at the range, and uh, I got a follow-up. Uh, I recently did a video on my little Marlin 30 Rimfire OK vest pistol. It's called an OK, that's the model, made 1863 to 1870 period. Um, and along with this, getting ready to load this for the first time, we had some discussions both on the ASSRA forum and the Obsolete Rimfire and Heel Bullet uh, Facebook group uh, about the possibility of making uh, 3D printed bullets for these oddball type of calibers just to be able to test fire them. Now I realize that 3D printed bullets are not feasible for actually really everyday re real use, but just to test fire something, um, we wanted to try it. And uh, one of my friends on one of the groups made up some 3D rimfire heel bullets for me uh, on his 3D printer. And uh, so I've got five of them loaded up. They're little tiny things. I don't know if you can see this. Oh, how good these. But they're little tiny heel bullets here. So I've got five of my 30 rimfire cartridges loaded for these heel bullets. And uh, I've got them lubed. And they're loaded with a little over three grains of 3F powder and uh, with an acorn blank. And um, I'm going to shoot them at my little homemade target here, which is blowing in the wind a bit, so I'm going to move over. Uh, now normally, my target board is a piece of plywood uh, with the target nailed on it. But these bullets are so light that I'm concerned about them bouncing off of a piece of plywood. So normally, the 30, the 30 rimfire lead bullet is around 55 grains, give or take a little bit. These little 3D printed bullets weigh 6.1 grains, so just, it's just a little over 10% of the weight of a lead bullet. So they're very light, there should be probably almost no recoil from it, and, uh, but because they're so light and they're this 3D uh, printed material, I'm not sure, some type of plastic, uh, I don't want to take a chance on them bouncing off. So I made a, a piece of cardboard and I cut the center out and stapled just a piece of paper over it, so the bullet just has to penetrate the piece of paper. So I'm going to load up here and take uh, take five shots with it and uh, see how it works. So I'm going to put some ears in here. All right, here we go. All right. There's one. Now this pistol doesn't have an extractor, so my extractor is a simple little stick. Okay, number two. Really no recoil at all because they're so light. Well, that one's a little tight going in, huh? Okay, one more here, uh, my paper's turning on me in the wind, <laughs> all right, so that's four, I had one case that didn't want a chamber, and it might be, well, let me try it one more time here. There we go. Okay. All right, five shots with the little OK pistol. Okay. Let me uh, grab the camera here. And the target's only a couple of feet away from me, so we'll just walk around. 
And so there's our five shots. Quite a bit of powder splatter too. Uh, one, two, three, four, five maybe. Yeah. So uh, so they shot. They worked. Um, I don't know what kind of penetration we get off them. Actually, it's one, two, three, four, five like there. So it's still grouped pretty good. Um, so so not bad. So this is the 3D printed bullets. Um, I think it's kind of funny to try these. It's certainly nothing that would be you know useful for real you know real life use. Um, but I'm tempted to try something else of taking one of these 3D bullets and boring it out to put a piece of buckshot inside it for some added weight. So maybe something to try with a, a larger size, like a 41 rimfire. But I don't know. We'll see. So anyway, this was just a little trial with the uh, 30 rimfire OK pistol using 3D printed bullets, and they seem to work. So, hey, hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Uh, please uh, like the video and subscribe to my channel, and I'll have more coming out soon. Take care.